Greetings to all the students of class 5. Welcome to your maths class. Dear students, today we will know about the different methods of dividing a two digit number by a two digit number from exercise 2.7 of chapter 2. So let's begin. Yes students, it's Lodi celebration and during Lodi celebration Raman along with his 11 other friends gathered some amount when they counted they had rupees 72 now they want to equally distribute this amount among all the friends and we know that they are 12 friends so students what amount will each one of them get let's find it out dear students they have seven notes of 10 rupees that means 70 rupees and two notes of 1 rupee that means 2 rupees but my dear students these seven notes of 10 rupees can't be equally distributed among 12 children so what we can do is in place of one 10 rupee note we can take two 5 rupee note and we'll do the same for all the 10 rupee notes and likewise how many 5 rupee notes do we get yes They are fourteen in number. Now, students, we can give one five rupee note to each one of them, and likewise, how much amount have we distributed? As you know, twelve times five is equal to sixty. So we have distributed sixty rupees. And how much amount are we left with? For this, we'll subtract. Rupees sixty from rupees seventy two. Seventy two minus sixty is equal to twelve. So we are left with twelve rupees. But students, we can't equally distribute these four notes among twelve children. So what we can do here is that in place of two five rupee notes, we can take ten notes of one rupee. Now you can see we have twelve notes of one rupee, and now we can give a one rupee note to each one of them. So how much amount have we distributed? As you know, twelve times one is equal to twelve. So we have distributed the remaining twelve rupees. After subtracting twelve from twelve, we get zero. Now see here. first they received 5 rupees and then 1 rupee that means 6 rupees in total so each member has received 6 rupees equally now let's understand the same distribution in a different way we have to distribute rupees 72 among 12 children first we give them 5 rupees each and as you know 12 times 5 is equal to 60 so we distributed 60 rupees and after subtracting 60 from 72 we are left with 12 rupees now we all know that there are 12 children so we can give a 1 rupee to each one of them and 12 times 1 is equal to 12 that way we distributed the remaining 12 rupees and after subtracting 12 from 12 we are left with zero that means no amount is left we have distributed 72 rupees among 12 children first we gave 5 rupees and then 1 rupee to each one of them so 5 plus 1 is equal to 6 So each member has received six rupees equally. Now, students, we'll solve the same with the formal method of division. We have the amount seventy-two, which has two ones and seven tens. We have to divide seventy-two with twelve, and here we'll refer to the table of twelve. And in this table, you can see twelve times six. Is equal to seventy-two, and this is the amount we need. Twelve times six is seventy-two, and when we subtract seventy-two from the same number itself, 
what are we left with we are left with the zero that means no amount is left and we have equally distributed rupees 72 among 12 children and each one of them has received 6 rupees dear students when we equally distribute the currency notes each member gets 6 rupees through non standard method of division each one gets 6 rupees and through standard method of division each one gets 6 rupees so we have learned the non standard and the standard method of division and either way we are getting the same answer so dear students your homework is that you will attend part c part e and part i of question 1 from exercise 2.7 thank you so much